Welcome to Electron Line. It's interesting to know the equivalence between mechanical systems and electrical systems. For example, when we have an oscillator that may be driven by an external force, and we have a circuit that includes an inductor, a resistor, and a capacitor that's driven by some sort of voltage source, which is a function of time. Notice that in the mechanical system we have displacement x, and in the electrical system we have charge q. In the mechanical system, we have velocity x dot, the derivative of the displacement with respect to time. And in the electrical system, we have the current, which is the derivative of the charge with respect to time. Here we have a mass that's being driven back and forth. Here we have charge that's being driven through an inductor, which acts like a mass. We have a damping constant, for example, a dash pot or some sort of liquid that has a viscosity. And we have resistance. Both of these, they take energy out of the system. Then we have a spring constant, something in which we can store energy by compressing or elongating the spring. We have a capacitor which can store charge and therefore energy, just like a spring can. And finally, with a physical system, we have an external force driving the system. And with an electrical circuit, we have a voltage stores which is driving charge through the circuit. So you can see that we have very much similarities between the two different kinds of systems. And therefore, we have so much of a similarity between the two equations, the, the second order linear differential equations that can be used to solve both the physical systems like this with oscillators and electrical circuits like this. Notice that there's a lot of usefulness for those differential equations and they can solve all kinds of different types of problems. And that's why we use them and that's why we have so many videos coming up showing you how they can be used in all those various scenarios.